Hello, friends. It's good to be with you today, and thank you so much for tuning into the broadcast. Thank you for liking my channel on several outlets on YouTube and subscribing to my channel. Also, Facebook, I appreciate all of my friends and everything. And on Pinterest, I thank you for all of you that follow me there on there. And LinkedIn, I appreciate all of you that follow me on that site. I want to talk to you about a most powerful subject today. I want to talk about the mighty Archangel Michael. He is described in four different areas of the Bible, and so I want to talk to you a little bit out, out of Daniel chapter 12 and verse 1. At that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which stand with Israel, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since Israel became a nation. I am now in this situation to where we have already graduated to the Great Tribulation period. The Antichrist has showed up and invaded the temple. The, the people of God have fled into the rocks and need a miracle of God to be able to come back. It seemed like they were flooded out, and, and but God performed a miracle there. It's during that time that the Bible says that Michael, that mighty angel, will stand up. He is a great warrior. He is a powerful, powerful arch archangel. He does incredible work. And I've told you, he's mentioned several times. We are surrounded by a host of heavenly angels everywhere. They are God's faithful angels. They have different duties and they have different ranks. And I thank God for all of these powerful angels. And Michael's name simply means whose name is like God. And that's, he stands for God. Now, I want to tell you, we should not worship angels because angels are God's created order. We're to worship God only. We're to worship Him and God Almighty and Jesus Christ and never uh, specialize in trying to uh, elevate them in a place that does not belong because they're ordered by God in different situations. Uh, and thank God that we have this powerful angel that works for Israel. He's going to stand up for Israel. You know, Israel has needed protection over these years many times. It seems like the nation of Israel was about to be destroyed on many occasions. It seems like that small nation over there has been surrounded by enemies ever since its existence. But somehow, their powerful work of God has managed uh, that nation has survived and they're going to survive because God's with it and he's got this great powerful archangel that helps him in that mighty support. I want to talk about, uh, the, he has mentioned by name four times in the Bible. He helps a lesser ranked angel get through to answer Daniel's prayer in Daniel chapter 10 and verse 13 through 21. Number two, he will stand up with Israel during the tribulation period, and that's Daniel 12 and verse 1. I will enter, encourage you to read Daniel 1 and 3, and it, it will open your eyes to a lot of things about what God is going to do. He disputes with Satan over the body of Moses in Jude 9. It talks about there, you know, Satan was once created as a, a beautiful archangel. But folks, I want to tell you, he is no longer. He's been cast out of there. He is not omnipotent. If any people think Lucifer has more power than God, they just must be dreaming because God is all powerful. I think that Satan could originally be compared to Michael, but since he is a fallen angel no longer, he has no more power. He has no power over us, and we got victory over him in Jesus' name. The last point I want to reach out is uh, number four. He fights against Satan in the heavenlies in Revelations 12 and 7. Now, we know there's a time that uh, the angels fell out of heaven. You know, it's hard really to, to get a time frame on when that actually happened. But we know in Revelation 12 and 7, it, it talks about that. And it talks about the time frame where Satan was cast out of heaven. Folks, I want to tell you the mighty archangel Michael will stand up for Israel. He is a mighty angel. And praise God that he blesses all of his angels. Uh, and thank God that he is uh, working for our behalf. If you love God today, 
If you have uh, something you'd like to comment and say about this mighty archangel today and about angels in general, please give me some comments because I'll enjoy listening to those. And thank you for listening to this broadcast today. God bless you, and I'll talk to you again soon.